the powerful name of Jesus. It's so good to flow with the power of the Holy Spirit. And I believe in the flow that we'll be able to hear from him. So turn with me very quickly to 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and we'll read from verse 12 to verse 18. 2 Chronicles chapter 7 reading 12 to verse 18. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. When I shut up heaven and there is no rain, I command the locusts to devour the land or send pestilence among my people. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to prayer made in this place. For now I have chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever and my eyes and my heart will be there perpetually. As for you, if you walk before me as your father David walked and do according to all that I have commanded you and if you keep my statutes and my judgments, then I will establish the throne of your kingdom as I covenanted with David your father saying, you shall not fail to have a man as ruler in Israel. Congregation may be seated. Verse for meditation is verse 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. We want to zero in this morning as I would entitle my message Hearing from Heaven. Hearing from Heaven. It is about time that something happens in the supernatural so that the Lord shifts us into a new level so that we are able as children of the Most High God to hear from heaven to what the Spirit of God is saying and revealing unto us. I believe this morning it's about time that we hear from heaven. It's about time that God spoke with a voice that will be able to hear to what the Spirit of God is saying and revealing unto us. Briefly this morning, I will share on five points and I pray that the Spirit of God will minister unto us that we'll be able to hear and understand exactly what the Lord is saying to us. I'd like to believe that the Lord is speaking to the nations of this world, but as much as He's speaking to the nations of this world, He's speaking to God's people individually. Point number one is intercession. Many people are praying earnestly and seeking the face of the Lord. People are fasting. They're keeping this time aside and they are praying. Some people like Jacob are interceding and wrestling with God. Come on, beloved. People are rising out of their slumberness and they are trusting God so that they will hear to the voice of God, to what the Spirit of God is saying and what the Spirit of the Lord is revealing. Let me say this morning, beloved sons and daughters of the Most High God, your prayer has not gone in vain. Let me repeat to 
someone that did not hear your prayer has not gone in vain. The Lord has heard your prayer just as he heard the prayer of Solomon and appeared to him. Something is about to happen. Something is about to break forth. Listen, let me say somebody this morning, the righteous will not be forsaken and God will not allow his children to suffer more than they can bear. We serve a God that has years and he can hear this morning. And I want to tell you, your prayer has ascended up into heaven. But there is a problem. There is a problem. We are hearing to so many foreign and negative voices. Voices that are confusing you. Voices that are intimidating you. Voices that are robbing you of your intimacy with an almighty God. Voices that are pulling you backward. My God, when we start worshipping this God and praising this God, when we have an open heaven, my beloved brothers and sisters, sisters, foreign voices and negative voices will be a thing of the past. I beg to believe my father will speak directly to you because he, there is a year, we need to hear to what the spirit of God is saying and revealing unto you. And my Bible tells me my sheep know my, my, my voice and my sheep hear my voice. It's about time somebody that we hear from heaven. Oh God, can I say somebody, it's about time that we hear from heaven to what the Spirit of God is saying and revealing unto us as a child of God. We should not be confused. We should not be intimidated because we hear from heaven and we know the voice of an almighty God. We know that powerful voice and I believe this morning that the Lord is speaking. We need to know what the Lord is saying to us he doesn't only speak to the pastor he doesn't only speak to the leaders he speaks to everyone and that is why my brothers and sisters don't let anything distract you or rob you this morning from hearing from heaven to what the Lord is saying and revealing unto you Point number two is repentance. Turn with me to chapter 6 of 2 Chronicles and we'll read from verse 26. 626. When the heavens are shut up and there is no rain because they have sinned against you, when they pray toward this place, and confess your name and turn from their sin because you afflict them then hear in heaven and forgive the sin of your servants your people Israel that you may teach them the good way in which they should walk and send rain on your land which you have given to your people as an inheritance when there is famine in the land, pestilence or blight or mildew, locusts or grasshoppers, when their enemies besiege them in the land of their cities, whatever plague or whatever sickness there is, whatever prayer, whatever supplication is made by anyone, or by all your people Israel, when each one knows his own burden and his own grief and spreads out his hands to this temple, then hear from heaven your dwelling place and forgive and give to everyone according to all his ways, whose heart you know, for you alone know the hearts of the sons of men, for they may fear you to walk in your ways as long as they live in the land which you give or you gave to your fathers. Beloved, repentance as a child of God 
is very crucial and important. We cannot have anything hidden in us and expect the Lord to move, expect an open heaven. Beloved, we need to confess and repent of all our sins, not only us, the leaders, the country, the world needs to repent. Can somebody shout Amen? We got to stand in the gap and pray to the Lord. We got to cry out to Him. We got to also repent of our leaders. We got to repent of contaminated blood. We got to repent of past sins, known sins, and unknown sins. And the Bible says in 1 John 1 and verse 9 if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us of all our sins listen beloved the Lord will surely forgive our sin and he will heal our land come on our land needs healing but People need to come to attention and we need to understand that we have sinned against God. We have come against Him so that we need to ask for His forgiveness. And He's a God that will forgive. He's a God that will forget. And He's about to intervene. And He's about to bless our land. Point Number three, what we need this morning is an open heaven. Maybe sin has closed heaven to us, but I want to tell you, we serve a loving and a powerful God. Turn to Isaiah chapter 64, verse 1, 2, and 3. Oh, that! You would rend the heavens. That you would come down. That the mountains might shake at your presence. The fire burns brushwood. As fire causes water to boil. To make your name known to your adversaries. That the nations may tremble at your presence. When you did awesome things for which we did not Look, you came down and the mountains shook at your presence. Listen, beloved. And when the Bible says in James 5 and verse 18, and when he prayed again, listen, and when James prayed again, the heaven gave rain. And the earth produce its fruit. Rain this morning is symbolic of the blessings of the Lord. Can somebody say Amen? Listen, beloved. When there is an open heaven, the rain is going to come down freely. And when the rain comes down freely. God is in the business of blessing his children. There is a time for everything. And I believe this morning it's a season for Shekinah. It's a season for God's people. God is about to rend the heavens open. God is about to open the heavens so that God's people can be blessed. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running all over. Leviticus 26 and four, verse 4 says, Then I will give rain in its season. The land shall yield its produce and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Come on, 
beloved. You have labored. You have toiled. You have sown. You have been faithful over these years. And I want to tell you, the Lord is about to send rain. The very rain. The former rain in due season. And beloved, everybody is about to be blessed. This is a contagious blessing when we are going to see the foot of the Lord. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. The Lord is about to break through. The Lord is about to open the heavens. The Lord is about to send rain on you, send rain on your family, send rain in our church, send rain in this country, and we are about to be blessed in a supernatural and in a powerful way. Can somebody shout Amen? Lastly, what is the Lord saying from heaven? We need to hear his voice. We need to act accordingly. And I believe once we are obedient to the voice of the Lord, the blessings of the Lord are definitely going to overtake us. And that's found for us in 2 Chronicles 7 and verse 14. If my people, the Lord is talking about us this morning. Don't say it's for my brother. They should have been here. It is for us. If my people who are called by my name children of God God this morning is speaking directly to our spirits what he wants us to do is to humble ourselves can somebody say amen Humility is needed in the kingdom. No one in the kingdom is superior. And no one is inferior. We are all co-equals in the sight of God. There might be rank and order. But ultimately, we are children of God. And this morning... As big as we are, as small as we are, as rich or poor as we are, we need to all humble ourselves. When you die, there is no trailer behind Pantown Funeral Services first. You take nothing, beloved. And it is why when you look at Jesus, who is the role model for the church, he humbled himself.
When you seek him, you will surely find him. And then we must turn from our wicked ways. Does Christians have wicked ways? Does Christians have evil ways? But the Bible is telling us according to his word and turn from your wicked ways. May your heart be clean and pure and sanctified before God so that we will not enter our miracle and our breakthrough. And then when we do that, then I will hear from heaven. So these obstacles that are holding us back and robbing us of our breakthrough and our miracles. Listen somebody, let go and let God have his way. When the Lord hears from heaven, this is what he's going to do. Quite simple. He's going to forgive our sin and simultaneously he is going to heal our land. Are you hearing from heaven to what the Spirit of God is saying and revealing unto you? Let us as God's children as the body of Christ walk circumspectly and uprightly before an almighty God. May we have no malice, may we have no grudge, but may we be open and transparent before God so that out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Let's stand and let's bow in prayer. Our loving God and Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning that we hear from heaven to what the Spirit of God is saying and revealing unto us. Wherever we have wronged and trespassed against you and the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, through your anointing this morning, forgive us. May we become intercessors. May we repent so that you can send rain and give us an open heaven. And Lord, not only today, but always, we will be able to hear from heaven to what the Spirit of God is saying and revealing unto us in Jesus' name. Amen.